Hi, uh, my name is uh, Garfield Henderson. I'm a corporal in the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and I'm with the Police Dog Service Section and I'm uh, the NCO in charge of the Police Dog Section here in Kelowna. Uh, we have a team of four, counting myself. In Penticton there's two, two dog handlers, Vernon has two dog handlers, Kamloops has uh, three dog handlers uh, in, in the Okanagan and then we have the North District and then we have the Kootenai District as well. We're, we support the frontline police officers. Say if there was a, a three-year-old missing child or an elderly person, they would call us and we'd come and try to do a search to find them. Um, we can do, if someone was to say, break into your home or a business, our dogs are, are trained to track a person from the, where they've entered the building and left the building until hopefully we'll be able to find them. Um, our dogs are also trained to search for narcotics. They're trained to search for explosives. Uh, we also have implemented in the last, I would say, three or four years when remains detection. So uh, say if there's a, a person who has deceased or has there been a homicide and a person has been buried out in the wilderness, um, our dogs are trained to locate human remains that have been buried in the ground and they could be up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten feet deep. Yeah, it's Simon Cordarelli and I'm a constable with the Kelowna Police Dog Service. Uh, myself and my police dog Django, we started training in 2018 in the spring and we concluded that in the fall of 2018. When we're not doing operational shifts, uh, it's very consistent. We'll start our uh, mornings fairly early. It usually starts off with a walk. We'll go for a walk and he'll go and do his business. And uh, subsequently, we try to incorporate some type of training into that day, even though it's a day off. It's really important for our police dogs to be, again, well-established. Um, they'll have consistent training, and we have to keep that up almost on a daily basis. As far as our police dogs are concerned, there's always contentious issue of how they're deployed from a use of force perspective. Um, but that's a small portion of what our police dogs can do. Right, so when we look at the totality of what our dogs can do, they're involved in search and rescue operations, they can find missing kids, they find elderly people, and in those situations they find them and there is no use of force component attached to that, so people are not getting bit. For me, uh, finding missing kids, uh, I have children of my own, uh, there is nothing better as a dog handler. Uh, I obviously could catch a, a million people have committed criminal offenses and it wouldn't mean as much to me as finding a missing kid or an elderly person. That is probably the most rewarding part of my job. Yeah, nice to see you.